Hey, I'm Eric Taylor. Today I'm talking about dessert wines. Often overlooked and offer an enormous bang for your buck and nothing wows your guests or yourself like having a little dessert wine after a meal. So we have our dessert wines categorized into two major sections. The first one is the sweet and the sticky section, I like to call it. These things are ice wines, uh, Bon de Venise, Sauternes, uh, and then Moscato's late harvest wines. These wines are great at the end of a meal, uh, but the nice thing about a lot of these is that you can serve this instead of dessert if you don't want to make a cake, or if you want to keep things really light and simple by just serving a little bit of cheese and fruit after a meal. These make a wonderful accompaniment, and they're oftentimes forgotten. Uh, so if you're going to a dinner party, these would be a wonderful thing for you to bring. Um, or if you're having people over, or if you're just cooking for yourself um, and, and, and your family at home, um, think about having a dessert wine. Yes, some of them are really expensive, but they're really, really good. But oftentimes, the, a lot of these are very inexpensive, $14, $15. Um, dollars. I especially uh, recommend Moscato de Asti. These are a little sweet and a little bubbly. One nice thing about them is that they're very low in alcohol so that at the end of a meal, you know, and if you have to drive or whatnot, you can have a little bit without becoming schnocker. Uh, the other big category we have of uh, dessert wines are our ports, Madeiras, and Sherry. Wonderful flavors. These things go really well with Again, cheeses, especially blue and or stinky full flavored cheeses, uh, dessert plates, whatnot. But one really nice thing about the vast majority of the ports, Madeiras and Sherry's is that you can open them up and you've got about two or three weeks. They're very stable um, before they start to fall apart and, and, and go bad on you. So think about dessert wines. Think about adding it into your wine repertoire um, as an alternative to dessert or in addition to. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, as always, come by, say hi, and uh, thanks for listening.